Do we think William and Mary superfan Cam Newton makes the trip to Bozeman, Montana this weekend in support of his little brother Kalen and the Tribe football team? We're going to have to wait and see, but he's certainly been quite the supporter all season long so far. There his brother, his brother is right there. Welcome into the Sports Wrap. Happy Thursday. Preparing to brave freezing temperatures in Big Sky Country, the William & Mary football team puts its 11-1 season on the line of the quarterfinals of the FCS playoffs tomorrow night at 10:15 on ESPN2. It's the deepest the Tribe have advanced in the postseason since 2009. For a full preview, here's Nathan Epstein. William & Mary has advanced to the FCS semifinals only twice in its history, once in 2004 and 2009. In order to make it a third time, they're going to have to leave the comfy confines of Zabel Stadium, go on the road and try and take down a Montana State team, which played in last year's national championship game. I really can't tell you how hyped we all are. Two of the top four rushing attacks in all of FCS football are set to battle in Bozeman, Montana. The Tribe fourth at 276 yards per game and Montana State at a whopping 330 yards per outing. They do a good job of just being physical, of taking their scheme and using uh, you know, the legs of their two really good quarterbacks and just saying this is what we are, this is our identity. Just like we are, our, our identity is running the football. The Tribe will put a school record 11 wins and a perfect 6-0 road record up against a Bobcats team riding a 19-game win streak with a possible championship hanging in the balance. I can't tell you how excited I am to, to play in a game like that. You know, like I said, it's, it's a game that everybody dreams of playing in. Every playoff game is big, but, you know, definitely um, I know a lot of people on the team, you know, haven't been in this type of position and, you know, it is new. I feel like it is new to people, but at the same time, you know, we're we're definitely um, excited to be in this, excited to be in this position. And the elements could factor in with temperatures well below freezing and maybe some of that Montana snow expected around kickoff. I think we're we're comfortable being uncomfortable. I've told all my, you know, the, the guys in our group, like, I'm not wearing sleeves. I'm not doing any of the Vaseline tricks or whatever. I'm going out there and I'm playing ball. We're not done yet. There's still more to prove. William & Mary now only three wins away from its first ever national championship. In Williamsburg, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rat.